The content on this channel is for educational and informational purposes only. Nothing we say or do should be considered advice. No tax, legal, accounting, investment, or any other kind of advice. Anything you invest in is at your own risk. Do your own research and consult with professionals. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bytes Digital. I'm your host, Joseph, and today I've got Nick joining me from the Flipside crew. And it is going to be his pleasure to walk you guys through on how to get your assets into the Algorand network. We're planning on doing much more of these episodes and these types of videos to essentially get you guys used to and comfortable with going beyond just the Terra ecosystem. And as our content is going into those, those, those directions as well, so it would be great for us to like just give you guys the information needed in order to get your assets there to even do something or do whatever you want to do in those networks. Uh, so without further ado, Nick, thank you so much for coming onto the channel. Uh, please take care of the audience, and I'm sure you're going to help us get into the Algorand network. Thanks, Joseph. I'm excited to show everyone how to bridge from ETH uh, Ethereum network to the Algorand network. This is really the first time uh, anyone's really had the opportunity to do this. And it's through the decentralized bridge provided by the P network. So uh, we can dive in and I can show you guys how to bridge your ETH and your assets on Ethereum into Algorand. So first, if you haven't already, you're going to need to set up a MetaMask wallet. Um, there are tons of tutorials available to show you how to set it up. But at the end of the day, what you need is you need to have some ETH in your MetaMask wallet. And what we're gonna be doing is transferring it uh, on Uniswap. We're gonna be swapping it for USDC. So we're gonna head over to the Uniswap interface. You'll have your ETH in here. You'll have to select USDC. And USDC is what we're gonna be bridging over into the Algorand network. So you have your ETH, you put in the amount you want to swap to whatever that may be, and then you swap that. And eventually after that, you will have USDC in your wallet. I've already done this step. Feel free to go ahead and do that. Again, there are tons of tutorials available online to show you how to swap from ETH to USDC. Now that we have our USDC, we're going to go ahead and set up uh, a MyAlgo wallet. And this wallet is going to be your Algorand wallet. In it's going to allow you to explore and interact with the Algorand ecosystem. So go ahead, access now, uh, go through the process of setting up, writing down your seed phrase and your uh, private key, and make sure to store those in a secure location. I would definitely suggest writing them on paper. I've already set up my wallet, and I'm going to go ahead and log in. So as you can see, this is what your MyAlgo wallet will look like. If you already have a Para wallet, which is the Algorand official wallet, you can actually import that. So uh, a little side note, the Para wallet is a mobile wallet that you can download for iPhone or Android. Uh, and it allows you to interact with the Algorand ecosystem through your mobile device. It's a great way to be able to buy NFTs, swap assets, and do different DeFi uh, applications on the go would highly suggest checking it out. So once you've set up either your para wallet or my algo wallet, if you did a para wallet, what you're going to have to do is go in here, add new account. And this is where you'll paste your mnemonic phrase from your para wallet. And that will import your wallet into your my algo wallet. So now that we have a wallet set up, we're going to have to supply it with algos. And we only have to supply a little bit because we're bridging in USDC. But you want to have at least six algos, 10 algos, which right now are 2 to $3. Um, not much. So you can opt in to USDC on the network. One of the benefits of the Algorand network is you cannot be sent tokens unless your address has been opted into it. This prevents spam and other assets or nefarious assets that you don't want in your wallet to not be there. So they make it really convenient for you to load your wallet with algos. You can go right up here and you can actually buy algos using your credit or debit card uh, through MoonPay. So this is one way you can add algos to your wallet. Another way would be setting up a Coinbase account, buying algos on there, 
and then sending them to your wallet address. And this is where your wallet address will be located. Now, once we've set up our wallet and supplied it with algos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna opt into the USDC asset because that's what we're bridging over. So how we find the USDC asset is going to algoexplore.io and you can type in USDC and you'll see in the dropdown, this verified check mark means that this is the USDC asset. We'll click on that. grab this asset ID number and go back to our wallet tab. Here we'll opt into the asset. So as you can see, I have a bunch of different assets in this wallet and USDC is one of them already. If, it's, if you are not opted into USDC, what you'll have to do is add the asset by paste, pasting in the asset ID and then selecting opt-in. When you click opt in, a transaction is going to come up and that transaction is going to be a zero amount transaction. And all it's doing is telling the network, hey, I can now accept USDC. And that's why you need to have some algos in your wallet before we do this step. So after we've opted in, now we can actually use the bridge. Uh, the bridge we'll be using is provided by the P network, and this is a decentralized network. Uh, comprised of a bunch of different validators that allow you to bridge your assets from one ecosystem to another. So here is where we enter the DAP. Um, it's dap.ptokens.io. Back at the network page, you can click this DAP tab right up here. From here, we're going to select our two assets. The first one we're going to select is USDC. And we have to make sure this is on the native network. See this little Ethereum symbol right here? That indicates that we will be swapping from USDC on Ethereum. This next step, you need to make sure that you're swapping to the correct asset. As you can see, there are a couple different USDC assets available. One on Algorand, one on Algorand native, and that's the asset we're gonna choose. The difference between these two is this is the P network USDC on Algorand, and this is the native USDC provided by Circle on Algorand. And that's ultimately the asset we're gonna wanna bridge to and use within the Algorand network. So we're gonna select this one. And as you can see, we're going from USDC on ETH to USDC on Algorand. Now let's connect our wallet. Since we're going from Ethereum, you're gonna to have to connect your MetaMask wallet right here. So see, as I hover over the Ethereum symbol, we can click connect. It's gonna give us wallet options. We're gonna choose MetaMask. And as you can see, it shows my balance of USDC. Next, we're gonna to have to put a two address. And this is where we go back to my algo wallet. We copy this address. And then we paste it in down here. So now we have to choose an amount we want to bridge over. And again, it's telling us, hey, make sure you've opt opted into uh, USDC and PUSDC. So I would recommend opting into uh, PUSDC as well. As it notes, if for some reason there's low liquidity, you can bridge it they will bridge you over in PUSDC rather than USDC. Um, at this step, I haven't experienced that. And I believe once you do that, if you do receive PUSDC, you can actually swap it in the Algorand ecosystem for USDC. So again, we'll take this address for this other USDC asset, go to our wallet, add asset, and opt into it. As you can see, I've already done that. Now we're going to choose an amount to go ahead and bridge over. For this example, we're going to do 50 USDC. The minimum amount is uh, 25. 
and the red swap button is lit up. So that means we can go ahead and swap. And once I hit swap, it's asking me to approve this transaction. I'm going to confirm it on my MetaMask wallet. And it's broadcasting. And we can actually watch this from Etherscan. So I opened it up in a new tab. And this is where we're going to see when that transaction is confirmed. This may take a couple minutes, so don't worry. So we're going to click into the transaction. And the transaction is actually broadcasting this swap to the P network and essentially saying, hey, we want to move this 50 USDC over from the Ethereum network. It's broadcasting that to the P network. And then on the other side of this bridge, it will broadcast it to the Algorand network. Hey, we're going to mint and create 50 USDC on the Algorand network and your wallet will receive that 50 USDC. Okay, so as you guys can see, the next step has loaded and we have had a failure on this swap, which is completely fine. Uh, it just means the swap has failed. You're going to receive your USDC back on uh, Ethereum and we can actually try again. Essentially what this failure is saying is uh, the P network was not able to uh, bridge in that USDC to the Algorand network. We had success up to uh, bridging into the P network, but bridging out back into Algorand, uh, that's where this transaction failed. If you get that, don't be alarmed. You can go through that process again. So we were going to film another video of me trying to do a swap from Ethereum to Algorand with USDC, and we are running into the same issues. Uh, at the beginning of the video and when we were first filming these transactions, as you saw, uh, the USDC, we got an error when we were bridging it. However, when I went to check my wallet after I filmed the video, we saw that the assets were actually moved in. And so what seems to be happening is a UI issue on the front end. Um, basically, we see the successful transaction from uh Ethereum, where it's sending it to the network, the bridge. Uh, then we see this error right here when it's saying, okay, now transferring it to your Algorand wallet, an error during peg and try again. And basically what seems to be going on, as I said before, was a UI issue. I'll show you my wallet. These two were the successful transactions of the assets being bridged in and my balance went up to 221. Um, so of course, disappointing that we aren't getting a success notification, but also kind of exciting that we have our first bridge into Algorand and that it actually does work and I am receiving the USDC. Uh, so I'd suggest if you're gonna try this bridge, be aware of these UI issues. And if you do this type of bridging of USDC, be aware that the transaction may show as failed, but it actually goes through. And yeah, that's my review of the P network bridge. Super excited. We should see a couple other bridges launching on Algorand this summer, and I'm excited to try those out as well. So thanks guys for watching my review and uh, use of the P network bridge. Super excited that this is the first bridge to be launching. Uh, like and subscribe this video. Stay tuned for more bridging videos. We'll see a couple more launching this summer into Algorand, and we're definitely going to try out those experiences.